Welcome back to Houston Life. When tragedy hit Yavaldi, a Houston native and author decided to show her support to the community the best way she knows, and that's through books. So she's driving to personally deliver a huge donation to Uvalde for their library summer reading program. And she's here with us today, Shaletta Brundage, who joins us now with more details on this great gesture. We have met before, but over Zoom. Right, this yes. is our first time in person. Well, welcome into the studio. Thank you. And appreciate you being here. I, we know that you recently moved to Minnesota. Yes. Um, you're driving all the way from Minnesota to Houston. What spoke to you to make this drive? I saw a story on NBC that the El Progreso Library was continuing their summer reading program um, even when people called for them to close. And the library director said he wanted to provide a good space for the kids to come and meet with their friends and just have fun. And I thought, I want to do more than thoughts and prayers. I'm going to take a thousand copies of my new autism children's book, Brandon Spots His Sign, down there and gift them to the hundreds of children who have signed up for the library summer reading program, which actually kicks off today. And then I came to Houston and so many of my friends here, I'm a fifth ward native, mm -hmm. um, said, we want to make a donation. We want to help. So I partnered with Buy the Book in the Woodlands and people came through yesterday by the hundreds and they bought books. Every children's book almost that they had in this store, they picked up and bought. They bought over five cases of books. So I'm not just going down there with my autism children's book. I'm going down there with an additional 1,000 books Ugh. to gift to the children in Uvalde. You know what? This is such a great story. And you know, you're a mom. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that's where it starts, right? And I think that's what, what kind of pulled at your heart is that these kids, that community needs something. And, and there's so much that we all get yeah. from a book. Yeah, it is. And you know, to say, I love you. I'm thinking about you to bring life and love and laughter. You know, I've got all the books packed into my family's Camping World RV. We're going to drive down there and hand them out. And we also have gift baskets for the librarians and the volunteers at the library. It's so important because as we always say, it takes a village. We're looking at your van there. Um, this is so great to be able to make this trek. Now, a little bit about you, Shaletta. You're a comedian, founder of the multimedia podcasting and production company. You have four kids, three of who have uh, autism. Yes. And so was there a moment in, in time when you thought, wow, one one child, okay, this is going to be hard. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you get, you have three who are on the spectrum. Yeah. Um, did you have a moment at one point and thought, you know what, mom and is hard. Yeah. And this is not easy. Is that where the books kind of became inspiring for you? The books came because I wanted to give other parents hope. When I saw my children making progress, I thought I want to let other moms and dads in the struggle know that things can and will get better. And how do I do that? By telling my children's story story in a book and I've heard from so many other autism moms and dads who thought you know I was ready to throw in the towel I thought my child would never get better and I see you talking about your children and telling their stories through this book and it gives me hope and that's really what it's all about it's about hope it really is about hope and also giving um, kids who have differences a way to feel like oh, everybody yes. else oh my god my children have so much confidence now when they have their books and they can pass it out to their friends and they see and share their stories and read it to to other kids who have special needs it just their confidence is through the roof right now and it's your youngest son is that Brandon or that's your oldest son well they're in alphabetical order okay we got lots of them so <laughs> Andrew's 15 Brandon is my second oldest he's nine so his book just came out for autism awareness month and I have Cameron goes to school which came out in 2020 and Daniel spot Daniel finds his voice which came out in 2021 oh it's so great and all of them speak to your children which I think is really great but all of them can speak to other kids as well well, which yes. is really important to be able to reach out and get that virtual hug for so many of these kids and for the parents. Yeah, and the books educate their classmates. That's so important. It really is yeah. because at the end of the day, we're a lot more alike than we are different. Yes, we are. Shaletta, lovely to see you. Thank Thanks you for doing what you're doing and, and making, touching these hearts in Uvalde as well. Thank you. Great to see you.